In recent years, the fight against global terrorism has shifted increasingly to the Sahel region of Africa. In Mauritania, authorities are tapping a traditional mode of transportation as part of their anti-terrorism efforts. With help from the European Union, they've resurrected a hundred-year-old nomadic police force known as the Camel Corps. This is the latest approach in the fight against jihadist terrorists in Mauritania, a traditional solution to a modern problem. The Mahari National Guard are a police unit recruited from local nomads. Their camels are their most important tool. They're the best way to get around the vast border region between Mauritania and Mali. Jihadist groups linked to Al-Qaeda have gained ground nearby, and authorities fighting them need the kind of intelligence that only locals can offer. Our agents go undercover in the markets. They spy on the traders. For example, if we see a nomad buying large quantities of fuel, we know that's not normal. Their work is not without danger. While the men cook, Lieutenant Colonel Sidi Lebzar secures the camp. We form a circle. Each group has a sentry, and we from the command are in the center. The Mahari police travels through the desert for months at a time. We patrol the region. We look for nomadic populations. We raise awareness. We gather intelligence as well and communicate that to the central government in Nouakchott. The Camel Corps are partly funded by money from the European Union. It's an international attempt to improve security here and in the larger region known as the Sahel. It's counter-terrorism that starts at a local level. Mahadi units gather intelligence. They spot the threats and then anti-terrorism units get involved and take care of those threats. Their job is to also deepen trust with people, people they know from their own communities. They help them by providing health care. This woman says she has vertigo, nausea and general fatigue. That's why I gave her some albendazole, because she could have a parasite. This approach, combining local knowledge with traditional connections and offering help as well as asking for information, it's proving popular. A few hundred new Mahari police are already operational and authorities say they plan to recruit 200 more.